Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. This is going to be the 12th video in the MCP playlist. Right? I've already created 11 videos in model context protocol playlist. And this is going to be the 12th one and one of the most exciting videos for you to understand because here we're going to use Streamlit as an MCP host. So if you are working with MCP, you would have used Claude for desktop you know, on Windows as an MCP client or as an MCP host, right? That helps you communicate with multiple servers that you have created. Or you have been using, let's say, OpenAI Agents SDK, or if you are using Zapier, or if you are using Goose AI on Mac, or LibreChat, or whatever, right, uh, as an MCP host. How can we use Streamlit, right, as an MCP host? Now, imagine if I have a server, and I want to use that through M uh, Streamlit. How can we do that? That's the agenda of this video. Let's jump in and see how we can do that. Now, if you see here on my screen, I already have some code. And of course, these have been from my previous videos. So you have to first go through the previous video, the last video of this playlist, where I have shown you how to create your own client and server you know, in MCP. So if you look at the previous one, we used uh, MCP uh http ssc to first create a client you can see how we created from mcp client ssc import ssc client we had a function that used to print the items you know that will print out your resources your tools your prompts three fundamental blocks of mcp right now we have here you can see a function that used to you know uh, this is the client one so it basically connects with the server okay and the server basically fetches your Wikipedia article and then just create you markdown content, right? So if you go to the server here, you will understand what I'm saying. Here we are using beautiful soup, HTML to text to basically parse a Wikipedia article, like fetch the Wikipedia article, parse the main content and create a markdown output. That's what we used to do in the previous video, right? Now I'm just gonna take the same code and here we have used Olama, you know, as a model support, like a model provider. And let me first run you. So you can see my server is still running here. I'll show you how. And let me just run the streamlit here. Streamlit run. Streamlit run. Streamlit. Yeah, new.py or something, right? Now, once you run it, it will open a streamlit application. Now you can see it says wiki summary app. Enter the MCP server SSC URL and a Wikipedia article URL to fetch and summarize the article. Now my server URL is this, and it's running locally. You can also push it, to, push it to pipe and use that through UV as well, right? Or UV, UV, XP, whatever. Uh, but I am running it right now locally. And then I'm giving my Wikipedia article. Let me just open this article for you so you can see it here, right? You can see India, Wikipedia article. Now I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of this code first. Let's first start through the client. Or let's first start, excuse me, let's first start through the server. Now this is my server file. But some of you say, hey, look, I don't want to watch your previous video, right? I want to just start from here. How can I do that? That's also very simple. What you have to do is you have to first create a project. You can see I've created a project called HTTP SSC MCP starter. If you don't know, let me just write all the commands for you here. Now let it open. I'm going to write all the commands for you. Okay, so first what you have to do, you have to do UV init and your project name. Right. If you write this command, you know, it will install, uh, it will create a project repository, you know, for you, project name, whatever project name. Once you do that, of course, you're going to just do CD inside the project name. Right. You just CD inside the project name. You go inside it and then you just do like, you know, UV, V, E, N, V. Right. And then you do UV, V, N, V, you just do CD, v, CD dot V, N, V. And then you just do scripts. And if you are, you can just do it in the, uh, Maybe if you want to do it in a separate because you will be on power sale or something, then we activate the virtual environment, couple of silly dot dots, right? And then you come into the, uh, that uh, your virtual environment is activated and you come into the root directory, which is your project name. Now, once you do that, you have to, of course, create a requirements.txt file. So you create that. And after that, you will see something like this, this kind of folder, right? Now, as you see this kind of folder, you will have your requirements txt that you have to create, and these are the requirements you have to keep it. So I'll give the GitHub link uh, of this GitHub repo link of this uh, tutorial. You can just go and fork it or clone it, whatever. And after that, 
once you are done with it what you gonna do you gonna just do uv add hyphen r requirements txt it's gonna install everything for you extremely fast and then you will see everything every, all the dependencies have been added into pi project.2ml this is must you have to you have to use this if you want to push it to let's say pi p for example you need to create a better pi project.2ml now these are the how this is how you can set it up then you have to create three files you have to create olama server.py updated client.py and stimulate new.py you already have this if you just if you have been cloning my repos you don't have to do it now let me first show you olama server Okay, in by project or 2 ml did i okay you can see olama has been added yes now these are all the imports we have our beautiful soup we are using request we are using html to text we are using uvcon and charlotte uh, we are using mcp server fast mcp we are using some exceptions types and server ssc for message transport you know to the client now we are using olama for summarization right we are using olama library we are using chat and chat response if you don't know how to use olama let me show you you have to of course first you know do olama run deep seek this is the model i'm running you can see in another terminal and it runs on port 11434 so if you come here on port 1134 11434 and if you see this message you are safe it's, it's working for you if you don't see message the code will not work you have to make it work you can see it says olama is running on port 11434 make sure you go on localhost 11434 after running this command in terminal olama run deep seek it's fine if you don't have deep seek it will pull it immediately and then it, it will automatically run it okay after verifying the manifest or whatever now uh, once that is done right come back to ide you can see i am initiating an mcp server here uh, it's called wiki summary and i have creating a tool this is how you create a tool if you're working with mcp it's you define a decorator if you don't know decorator i will stop you i will ask you to stop learning ai and first learn python to learn about decorators so you can see we have decorators here it says add the rate mcp dot tool and then i'm writing a function it says define summarize wikipedia article it takes url as a string so input should be an url and we have some arguments here for you to read and study like there are some strings so you can understand how it works and then we have our validating the input it should start with like let's say url must start with http or https that's how it will be a url right now it fetches the article you can see it over here once it fetches the article through beautiful soup you can see parse the main content of the article through beautiful soup it looks at the diff element and fetches it and then convert html to text you can see it will convert the content to markdown and then i have a simple prompt you can also define these prompts within mcp so it becomes part of an mcp prompt you can see it says create the summarization prompt for olama summarize the following text it takes your markdown text and it gives the summary or whatever and here we are calling the olama model you can see i am passing deep seek creating a role content schema here you can see user and prompt gets passes and then i'm just getting the content out of it that's why it returns the summary if there's any error it will just use this to throw an error and then we have uh you can set up the SSE transfer for master MCP communication. If you watch my previous video, I have shown you how client communicates with the server. It sends a JSON formatted message and gets a JSON encoded message, you know, uh, from the server. So this is what happening. You need only two routes. One is SSC and one is messages. That's what it does with the two endpoints. And then this is how our server looks like. So this is a simple Olama server, you know, to connect with an MCP client. Let me show you the client pretty quickly. A very simple. You have this, you can the same thing print items it will list down all the things we are using ssc client from mcp client and it connects to the you can see it connects to the mcp server and call the summarize wikipedia article tool that we have created we are not relying on any Japier, or this that or something right here you can see it parses it connects it uses a uh, async of it you know to connect with it uh you know it can be very simple code i already have explained that in previous video not going to go deep into it watch the previous video to understand more and then i have a streamlit application in the stimulet application, I'm importing a stimulet, async IO, client sessions to establish a session, and then MCP client, SSC client. Again, the same thing, define call tool. Now it's very simple, have a simple title, wiki summary app, have some description, have two input box as an URL, you can see text input, have some placeholders. If you don't give it, you can change it and give it to whatever choice you have. 
have a button called fetch and summarize and it have some info and it then it's you just async io to run the tool it you just call tool server url and article url passes it and get the output as a texture yeah you can again get this in markdown if you want you know, it's your choice to get it i'm just showing you to get started for right you can enhance this further come here you can see it says fetching and summarizing article go to the server you can see my server is running here uv run olama server i'm using uv so i have to run server i'm running the server here you can see uv run olama server you can host this as well this can be hosted if you imagine if you have a virtual machine and you have a lot of these kind of mcp servers you can run all of those on the vm and those can be used through a stimulate app or through any app as you are building as a client you can see we got the summary it's div six, so it has you have to pass the output. I'm not passing it. It has a think. Uh, it thinks before generate the output, so it the output starts from here. You can see it says the page provides an extensive overview of India, covering its geography, graphic. I have very less max tokens. I like it's only 100 or 150. That's why the output is not longer. But you can get a longer output. But it fetches everything. You can see the summarize. Just say summarize blah blah blah, and gives you the output. So if, if you look at here, we are passing the MCP server URL because this is where our server is running. You can see I have to I think manage the I think you should take this code, make a PR guide, and you know include ht dot session state to uh, have the sessions right. Now you can see MCP server URL and Wikipedia article URL over here. You can see MCP server URL and Wikipedia article URL. These are both given and it fetches it and gets the article. Uh, I don't know why I opened VS Code. Let me just close this. I go back to the server, you can see my server, all of the logs can be finding. You know, you can find all the logs. You can see post, it it, it first makes a post here, you know, on this uh, thingy, which is your Olama, gets it, creates a session ID, blah, 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 processing request of the MC. So fantastic, right? Now, we have reached which stage, guys, where we don't have to rely on Cloud for desktop or any MCP host or client, or we can create our own server, we can create our own clients, we can work with it. But there are security concerns when you use like this. You need to bring up some kind of authentications mechanism. And I'm also you. I'm working on a research paper, as I said, you know, for uh, safeguarding this MCP communication. So that will be uh, that will be out soon. I'm going to explain that research paper when that is published uh, to all of you, and also creating a Python library, you know, to make this entire communication better. So I think this is what I wanted to do. Some of you also. You know, suggested, you've given me suggestion that I should create uh, MCP clients or, you know, I should host this, bring up an LLM element that how we can take this faced article and use a large language model within MCP to generate summaries or perform different kind of tasks. You can easily do RAG now. You can easily build RAG, you can easily build agents, whatever. It's like no rocket science, guys. The fundamentals should be cleared. So I hope you got the idea now. Uh, this will be available on my GitHub repository. Uh, let me know if you have any thoughts feedbacks doubts please comment in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channel guys if you like the content please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos share the video and the channel with your friends and to peer that's all for this video thank you so much for watching see you in the next one